dense canopy of trees loomed overhead as four friends, Emma, Ben, Mia, and Tyler, ventured deeper into the heart of the woods, their flashlights cutting through the darkness like beacons in the night. They had heard the stories, whispered tales of an ancient burial ground hidden within the forest, its secrets shrouded in mystery and dread. With each step, the air grew heavy with anticipation, as though the very earth beneath their feet held its breath, waiting for their inevitable descent into the unknown. Are you sure this is a good idea? Mia asked, her voice quivering with apprehension as she glanced nervously at the looming shadows. Emma flashed a reassuring smile, though her own unease gnawed at her insides. Of course it is. Think of the adventure. But as they pressed on, the familiar sounds of the forest began to fade, replaced by an eerie silence that sent shivers down their spines. The trees seemed to close in around them, their twisted branches reaching out like skeletal fingers grasping for purchase. Suddenly, Tyler stopped dead in his tracks, his flashlight beam illuminating something buried beneath a thick layer of moss and foliage. With trembling hands, he brushed away the debris, revealing weathered stones adorned with strange symbols and markings. It's here, he whispered, his voice barely audible above the rustling of the leaves. As they gathered around the ancient burial ground, a sense of dread washed over them, for they realized they had stumbled upon something far more sinister than they could have ever imagined. But before they could comprehend the gravity of their discovery, a bone-chilling howl pierced the night echoing through the forest like a harbinger of doom. Their blood running cold, the group exchanged fearful glances, knowing that they were not alone in the darkness. Something ancient and malevolent lurked within the shadows, waiting to unleash its wrath upon those who dared to disturb its slumber. And as the forest closed in around them, they knew that their fate was sealed, a fate entwined with the echoes of the forgotten burial ground. Heartbeats thundered in their ears as the howl faded into an eerie silence, leaving only the rustle of leaves and the whisper of the wind to fill the void. Panic surged through the group as they exchanged terrified glances, their minds racing with fear. We need to leave, now! Ben's voice trembled with urgency as he took a step back from the unearthly sight before them. But as they turned to flee, a bone-chilling wail echoed through the forest, freezing them in their tracks. Dread washed over them like a tidal wave as they realized the truth they were trapped, ensnared in a web of darkness spun by forces beyond their comprehension. With nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, they stood rooted to the spot, their senses heightened to the slightest whisper of movement in the shadows. And as the darkness closed in around them, they knew that their only hope for survival lay in unraveling the secrets of the forgotten burial ground. Driven by desperation, Emma reached out to touch one of the ancient stones, her fingers tracing the intricate patterns etched into its surface. As she did, a sudden surge of energy coursed through her, filling her mind with visions of a time long past, a time when the forest was alive with the whispers of the ancient spirits that dwelled within its depths. With newfound clarity, Emma turned to her friends, her eyes ablaze with determination. We need to perform the ritual, she declared, her voice steady despite the fear that gripped her heart. The others hesitated, their minds reeling with uncertainty. But as the darkness closed in around them, they knew they had no other choice. With trembling hands, they began to chant the ancient incantation, their voices merging with the wind as they called out to the spirits that lurked within the shadows. And as the final words echoed through the forest, a blinding light erupted from the burial ground, illuminating the darkness with an otherworldly glow. With a deafening roar, the ancient spirits rose from their slumber, their ethereal forms twisting and writhing in the air like flames dancing in the night. And as the spirits surrounded them, their fears grew even more. What went through their minds at that moment was what the spirits would do to them next.